Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a uh, quick test and update. I have the system running already. It is running on, on 9 volts. And let's say at 100 milliamps. Yeah. I have V1 on my uh, um, air core. Carlos. It's not connected yet. I have here a 101 ratio transformer. A rectifier and a 3 watt load. Let's start by testing the RPM. RPM is now 1675. I'm gonna do I'm gonna short the coil, do it that short over here. I'm doing it at the rectifier which lead it goes through here so it is a dead short of the coil we're gonna see how much it will drag down the system when I'm done doing the video will remove the coil and let you see that it is a air core coil if I don't forget of course as you can see it is now pulling 150 milliam uh, 150 milliam before it was 100, now 150, so... And of course the RPM has dropped. Yeah, let's see how much. Still decreasing. It is now at 1568. So that's what, roughly 100 RPM drop. And it is now sitting at, yeah, let's say 100 and, yeah, 70, 65, 70, almost 70, almost 175 milliamps. Now that it is shorted. And the RPM now is at, 1570 sorry 1546 yes so there's a drop off oh <laughs> can't remember sorry we'll have to look it up when I edit the video anyway now I'm gonna remove the short and connect the 3 watt load 3 watt load not using the transformer yet and now you're gonna see that only shorten your coil doesn't say anything because it is already pulling 200 milliamps and while it was on a dead short it was doing 175 milliamps it is now doing 225 going for the 250 mark and the RPM of course has dropped even more 1422 and decreasing output is not that bad but that's not the point at this moment so it is sitting now at 250 milliamps so while being loaded it is drawing 75 milliamps more than when the coil was shorted out It's about 265, going for the 275 uh, milliamps. Yeah, check that RPM one more time. Yeah, 1381, pretty steady. Just drop one more. 1381. Now I'm gonna introduce the 101 ratio uh, transformer. It's sitting now 275 milliamps at 1380 RPM. Introducing the uh, 101 transformer. The output is now a little bit less. I can see it on the brightness of the light. It is a 101 transformer. It's connected on one lead of the output. As you can see, one lead goes straight to the rectifier, and this one goes to the primary, comes out, 
into the end of the other secondary or other primary whatever you want to call it and back to the rectifier and then to the load as you can see the milliamp is already down to almost 200 milliamp and we were doing 1380 before and now 1470 and increasing a little bit 1472 and increasing a little bit give us a little more time Yes, as you can see, it is almost drawing now 200 milliamps. And the RPM has gone up a little bit more, I guess. 1485. There's the output by using the transformer. Not a special, just an effect. So what I want to show you is that when you short a coil only, uh, that doesn't uh, count for older coils out there, mine coils either, and uh, um, sorry, tired as always, um, it does count for mine coils. When I short this coil, it set a certain load on the system. When I load it, the load is much greater than only shorting it. Yes, that's about right. Let me switch it off. Stop the rotor. Mm, six minutes already. Far too long. Sorry about that. Always try to keep them as short as possible, these videos. As you can see, is the air core. Can't tell you how I wound it, but uh, X out it wound. Yeah. As you can see, if you put it at the, the rotor, nothing happens. There's nothing in there, only copper. Okie dokie. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching. Hey, hello there and welcome back. Just a small update on this over here. Before I put all the other 12 coils in there, I decided to test one of my other exotic wound coils. It is a low resistant coil, below 1 ohm. I have here loaded down with a 6 volt bicycle lamp. It is a 3 watt incandescent light bulb because that coil produces very low voltage we're running now in 12 volts at just above 1 ohms and the RPM it is doing now eighteen hundred and eighteen hundred and fifty seven loaded now I'm gonna short it short it as you can see give it some time what I'm going to show you now is exactly what you've seen in the first part when it's shorted the load on the system is less than when it's loaded with a real load in other words just shorting the coil doesn't give the maximum stress on the system at least not with my coils it was doing no 1800 and uh, <coughs> sorry 857 it is doing now 1924 27 and still decreasing sorry increasing so that's already a an increase in what 80 rpm while it is
short it out. Let's give it a little bit more time. Nineteen hundred and forty two, forty three, forty four. Still increasing a little bit. So now I'm going to load it down one more time. 3 watt load, incandescent light bulb. One coil over there. Low resistant coil. The RPM was 1945. It is now. 1900 and decreasing so as one can see when the coil is loaded down with a real load the stress on the system is much larger than only shorting the coil out and this coil is being rectified here and going here okie dokie um, yeah that's about it keep it nice and short Hope you enjoyed this part also, and as always, thank you for watching.